All right, so this next week, <clears throat> we're going to be talking about ways to prove that triangles are congruent. And uh, each one of the sections we're going to do um, is a way to prove that two triangles have congruency, okay? So the first one that we'll do is 5-2, and it is going to talk about angle, side, angle. 5-3 is side, angle, side. 5-4 is side, side, side. Um, six, two is angle, angle side. And six, three is hypotenuse leg. Now the first four <clears throat> are very similar, similar and we're gonna do five, two, five, three, and five, four right now. Okay, so 5, 2 is angle, side, angle. <clears throat> and it mentions here in Explore 1 that you have seen that two triangles are congruent if they have six pairs of corresponding parts. But sometimes it's not always easy to check all those. And so in this section, we are just going to check an angle, a side, and an angle. So that was all there was to angle, side, angle, and now we're going to do side, angle, side, and 5, 3. So if you turn to page 247, and we look here at the top, <clears throat> side, angle, side, if Two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So if we look here, I have a side, 19 and 19. Um, I have an angle at 43 and an angle at 45. And then I have a side at 20 and a side at 20. But these two things are not congruent. And so these triangles are not congruent. So let's look down at B now. I have a side of 46 and a side of 46. So those are congruent, aren't they? I have a angle at 37 and an angle at 37. And then I have a side at 74 and a side at 74. That gives, my, gives me the side, angle, side, triangle congruence theorem. And so I know that these two triangles are congruent. And that's all there is to side, angle, side. Okay, so now on page 233, we are doing angle, side, angle. And right here, it talks about if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another, then the triangles are congruent. So let's look at this A. Now, you should all know by now that the... Um, Angles of a triangle all add up to be 180 degrees. So if I take 180 and I subtract 74 and I subtract 61, I get 45. And so I know that this angle is 45 degrees. So if I look over here at this other triangle, I can see that these two angles are congruent, aren't they? I can also see that these two sides are congruent. And I can see that this angle is congruent to this angle. So what I have here is angle, side, angle. And because I have that pattern, I know that these two triangles are congruent. Now if we look down to example B, 
Okay, because I know that all these angles add up to be 180 degrees, and we'll fill in these blanks here. Angle M is 31, and angle N is 38, which gives me 39. Um, and when I subtract, I'm sorry, 69. And when I subtract 69 from both sides, I get that angle P is 111. So now I can look and see, okay, what well, I have 31 degrees here, okay? And 31 degrees there, there's an angle. Now I look and I've got 62 degrees right here at this side and 62 degrees on that side. And then if I look here, I've got P is 111 and this P is 110. So these triangles are not congruent. I do not have angle side angle because that angle I marked in green is not congruent to each other. So 5, 4 is on page 255. And now we're going to do side, side, side. So turn to page 256. And here is the theorem. If three sides of a triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. And if you then turn to page 259. We will look here at this, these examples and see how this works. So I have one side here, AB and ED, right? And then I have, they're congruent. And I have BC is to EF, and I have AC and DF. And so now we need to write these, and we need to write them, by the way, in the right order. So I'm going to say ABC, triangle ABC, is congruent to triangle Okay, well, DE matches AB, and uh, DF matches AC. Are they all in the right place? I believe they are, and there I have my statement. And we can look down and do B. Okay, which looks a little bit more confusing, but it's not. Um, so I'm going to look for my first side. So this side right here, DH, is congruent to HF. Do you see that? 12 and 12, okay? So I'm going to write this. DH, and underneath it, I'm going to write what it's congruent to. Um, FH. Now I have HE is congruent to GH. So... EH is congruent to GH, and then I have DE is congruent to GF. DE is congruent to GF. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> DE was congruent to FG, 
And so we want to make sure that they're all in the right order, too. That's really important to do that. Um, and then, and we'll talk about that more in class tomorrow, but that is it. That is the summation of 5-2, 5-3, 5-4. So what you need to make sure you know is angle side, angle, okay, where you have the side in between two known angles, and then you have side, angle, side, where you have the angle in between two known sides, and then side, side, side. And if you can get any three of these patterns uh, in two triangles, then you can prove triangle congruency. Okay? All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.